Um, let's go then. Um, <laughs> okay, so let's. I think we're live now. Um, hello. <laughs> this is such a weird impromptu live stream. Um, for those who are just about joining, welcome. Um, I think the 14th Doctor might have just kind of been announced, and I want to talk about that. And I thought it's pointless if I try and. Because if I, I do a video and then, like, I get. I, I don't know, some, something about, like, I get a bit way through an edit and nothing happens. Um, so I thought I'd start live streaming. I don't know what's happening. So, I'll I'll talk through it when we've got a few people in the chat. Fucking hell, 74 viewers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello, welcome. It's been a while since we've done a big stream on here, isn't it? Um, what do I mean by the 14th Doctor is here? Well, um, at exactly about half 11-ish, um, an actor posted something on Instagram, which was commented on by Russell T. Davis. And if you look at it, um, let's turn the... Let's turn the chat off. Um, oh, no, hang on. Does that chat actually work? Oh my god. Oh my god, the chat works. The, 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 I'll tell you what doesn't work with the camera. There we go. Um, Nakuti Gatworth posted this, two hearts, bit of blue, and yeah, Russell's commented on it. Uh, Nakuti Gatworth, of course, um, most notably known for sex education. He plays Eric in sex education. Um, it's the only thing I've seen him in. Now, I don't know if this is true, but I thought I'd live stream so I could kind of see what happens as it happens. Um, I, you know, I don't really know. Oh, shit. Oh, this is confirmed then. Oh, f <laughs> Um, so Nakuti Gat was the 14th Doctor then. <laughs> um, well, you can say emojis all you want, but if the actual production company are fucking tweeting it out... Hmm... I mean, Russell, you know, we will see for, like, more official stuff. That's why I'm live streaming. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm just going to keep talking through it. And if anything else gets uh, announced or thrown forward, um, like, this is, this is, yeah, this is really exciting. Um, so if something new comes out, this is going to be mad. Um... We're almost at 12 o'clock, so maybe on, on the hour we'll get something. But my god. Um, tonight at the BAFTAs. The BAFTAs are tonight. Oh my god, of course. Um, Georgia Tennant's just shared the post on Instagram. Oh my lord. There's a lot going on here. I'm quite excited. Um, I don't know what to think. I mean, there's so much going on. Obviously, we've got so many people watching as well. Thank you all for jumping on the stream. Um, really appreciate that. Um, I was not expecting to do this today. That's insane. Um, what? Ah, I am. Um, this is so like it's such the weirdest way to announce a doctor. I love the fact that they've just gone totally balls to the wall with it and just been like, "Well, we don't want to do a massive announcement." Um, <laughs> uh, it's Nakuti Gatwa. Um, but yeah, it's on Instagram. It got posted. About 23 minutes ago, so about, yeah, about bang on half 11. And then Bad Wolf have tweeted it. Yeah, I can see it though. I can honestly say it. Now, it's a very, it's, it's an inspired choice. It's a very weird, different kind of choice, but I'm totally here for it. I think Nakuti Gat was, um, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, um, his like range in sex education to begin with, I think is. Is a, is good enough, um, but he's he's an up and coming actor as well who's starting to get more recognised. Um, but he's not like a massive massive name, so it's not one that people would have immediately jumped to. Um, I'm just I'm here for it. I'm a hundred percent here for it. Like, hundred percent. Um, see, Russell's posting it on his story now. Oh, hey, there's so much. Sorry, I'm not reading the chat. Um, 154. You bloody hell. Oh shit, I've just disappeared off the screen. <laughs> Fucking hell. What the fuck's... Ha oh, shit, because I moved this thing over here. I'm an idiot. My bad. That's what happens when you screen record a bloody live camera. Fucking idiot. <laughs> um, What's happening in chat? Yeah, this is... Oh, my God. Yeah, so I presume this was intended. 
Um, because a lot of people are like, well, why would they just post it by mistake? I don't know if that's... I think that's it. I think that's the announcement. You know what I mean? Like, it's got to be, isn't it? Um, I mean, the posting of the two hearts would imply otherwise. <laughs> otherwise, no, it would imply the, uh, the theory, wouldn't it? Um... God, everything's just like screaming and kicking off. I've got so much to do today as well. This is such a... <laughs> um, I mean, we've got five minutes till midday. Are we going to get something then, maybe? I don't know. I mean, because the, the official accounts for Doctor Who haven't like tweeted anything. Um, da, 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 da. Um, yeah, still nothing on here. Oh uh, my God. So that's amazing. I, I don't know what else to say about it. I just think it's a good choice. And I haven't seen him... I've seen him in Sex Ed, but... Um, it's got to be, on it? Current, someone's currently... Uh, has just pointed out he's going... He's currently filming Barbie and then going straight into Sex Education Season 4. That's true, but then I don't know... Why he would post this and it be backed up by Russell then? It's a very strange thing to just kind of throw out there. Um, a lot of people have liked it. But yeah, this is... I don't know. But I mean, again, I'm waiting on midday. You know, maybe we'll get something then. Um, but I'm just going to sort of keep going for now and just see what happens. Um, yeah, I think I did pronounce it wrong. I believe it's Shuti Gatwa. I think that's how you pronounce it. I could be, could be wrong. Shuti Gatwa. That's right, I think. My bad. I knew I'd be butchering his name. For fuck's sake. <laughs> um, would they do this for a companion? Yeah, I don't know if they do the two hearts thing. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know if they do that. Three minutes till midday. I want to see if they post anything then. Um, yeah, no, sex education's brilliant. And he's great in sex education. He's got a lot of range. Um... It's yeah. This is big. I mean, this is this this is the announcement. I I'm not sure if I love the way they've announced it because I quite like the whole like oh we're going to announce the next Doctor in like a week and then do like a specially shot thing, um, opposed to just sort of half eleven in the morning on like a random Sunday. But I'm here for it. <laughs> yeah, two hearts plus blue box. I don't know. This is good, isn't it? I like this. I like it, but I'm like I kind of wish we got like a. Reveal video just because I'm a, I'm a bit of a bit of fan of those. Um, so this is yeah, very very. I mean I I don't know what to say really. I'm sort of just like shook. I'm like oh my god, do we just what what? <laughs> and like Russell's commented on it. Um, it's one of those cool things where it's obviously that they've just kind of thrown it there. And just seeing who notices. The Doctor Who community are too on it for this. <laughs> um, Sex has been nominated for a BAFTA. Has it? And the BAFTAs are tonight, aren't they? Oh my god, wow. For two minutes until midday. Um, and then, yeah. So feel free to ask some questions in chat. I mean, I'm happy to answer. I'm just going to basically chat through this. This is just insane. 161 people watching. Thank you for watching. Um, welcome to the stream. Oh my god. Yeah, the bookies are... That's a shame, isn't it? I wonder if you could still bet now. Because it's not been officially announced. <laughs> I wonder if you could actually put money on it now. Probably not. <laughs> this is the competitive side of me thinking, isn't it? Um, oh my god. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, it's just like a random day. Everyone was thinking, oh, maybe they'll announce it on the 14th. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking, if they're going to announce it soon, they'll probably do it on the 14th. Um, I'm hoping it's another female, and he's the companion. If it's not, I'll be slightly disappointed, but he's really great in sex head. Um... Have we got, um... Have we got 
It's almost midday. Are we going to get something, do you reckon? I hope we do. Otherwise, we're going to sit here for another half an hour. I'll probably keep going until, like... Both Russell T. Davis and Shooty Gamba are, are going to the BAFTAs tonight. Right. I mean, if that's true, then... Oh, my God. Is it? Is there a video? Have we got something? It's officially midday. Have we got anything? Did we get anything? Don't think we did get anything, did we? I'm frantically typing on my phone. Nothing. Nothing quite yet. Yes, he was in sex education. He's the right age as well. Like, 29 is probably a pretty good age, I think. Um, but, yeah. Brit interesting choice to go back to a, a, a man as well. Because I would have I would have thought, and I kind of hoped a little bit that they'd probably stick um, with a female doctor for 14. But, I'm not complaining. Because I actually think it's a decent choice. Um, and I think it could, you know, if, if this is definitely it, um, then that's really exciting. I'm trying to work out, like, when we're going to get something official. Because I'm sure the official account needs to tweet it. But, like, that's just the biggest, ballsiest thing to just be like, yeah, that's it. But you know what? It's clever because it gets people talking. Because everyone's like, what? You do an announcement thing, it's like, a few, people people will watch it, it'll be a massive thing, don't get me wrong. But I like that it's just been, like, dropped on there. So now newspapers and stuff are going to be fighting each other to get that first story. That is such a power move, and I love that. Um, oh my god, interesting, interesting. Um, so, god, yeah, I mean, it's... it's... <sighs> It would be such a power move if they did something at the BAFTAs tonight. I feel like if Shooty and Russell are at the BAFTAs tonight, we might get something. Um, this is insane, though. Um, thank you to the 170 people watching. That's insane <laughs> as well. So thanks for that. Please feel free to check out the other content that I make, you know, like my podcast and Twitch live streams. That would be helpful. Um, and if you're not already following me on Twitter, go there as well, because this live stream probably won't last that long. Um... But if something does get added after, um, then, or something gets announced after we finish live stream, I'll probably talk about it on Twitter. So, GB Sheard on Twitter if you're interested. Um, hmm. Interesting, interesting. First queer actor to play the Doctor. Yeah, I suppose that is true, isn't it? That is good, actually. He's filming Barbie at the moment. But what if he's just about to rap on Barbie? Because that in itself is is something. I don't know. I don't. I I genuinely don't know. Are the Baftas? Um. Is it BBC? <laughs> is it on? TV Baftas. Hang on. TV Baftas. That's a power move to, to announce it there properly. Um, oh, the actress isn't confirmed to be queer. Yeah, let's just put that out there. <laughs> if that's not confirmed, I don't want to go on record saying that. Um, do, 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 do. So it's tonight, Royal Festival Hall. I don't know where you can watch it. Um, BBC One. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> um, in a nutshell, people who are just joining, um, Shuti Gatwa, um, uh, the actor, has posted this on his Instagram, and Russell's commented on it, and it's also been shared by Bad Wolf, the production um, company behind Doctor Who for the new era, um, and I think it's basically confirmed at this point that this person's going to be the next Doctor. Something like, the future is here, the two hearts in a blue box, I mean, that's just in itself. Um, Shuti Gatwa, of course, well known for being in Sex Education, playing Eric, um, great character and great actor in that show as well. So, I'm, I'm down. BAFTA started alive on Insta. Is that true? Is this true? Is this true? Yeah, Russell's put it on his story, hasn't he? It's just. It's mad, this. I'm so it's live. BAFTA's, al BAFTA's alive. 
No, it's just some duff. <laughs> um, this is really weird. Oh my god, I'm so here for it though. I'm so, so here for it. Um, yeah, sure, he's going to have to regenerate in 13 clothes. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. That's going to be interesting. Oh, man. A lot of people are doubting it. A lot of people are like, oh, is it companion, maybe? Like, companion announcement? Um, but I don't know. I, I don't think, I genuinely don't think it is, you know. I think this is it. I think this is the announcement. And I reckon, we'll wait till half 12, and if nothing happens, we'll just sort of leave it there. Um, but if something gets announced at half 12, then we'll talk about it then. But yeah, I'm hoping that the official account will tweet something or say something. It's it, it, Half 12, it will have been an hour since this post was posted. So you let that simmer, you let people talk about it, and then you officially announce it. And I think that could be the way forward. The newspapers are going to be scrambling to get like the first scoop on this, which I absolutely love. Um, that's so good. Oh, I can't wait to see what else they do with it. I hope, like, I don't know, if they do an official announcement, this is the thing, is if they do an official announcement, what do you reckon it's going to be? Do you reckon it's just going to be like a, a little quick interview with him? Where it's like, um, they'll do, like, official Shitty Gatwa is the 14th Doctor. And then they just have, like, a little interview with him and, like, a little quote from him in on, like, on the Doctor Who website. Or... Or is it going to be something where they actually drop like a specially shot little film? They'll do something at 2 in the afternoon. That's probably a good shout, actually. But I'm not going to live stream till then. Um, let's wait till half 12 and see if anything happens. And then if not, then we'll just sort of wrap it up there. But that's, this is really interesting, isn't it? I'm, I'm a bit like... Yeah, in about 25 minutes. Usually the, the socials is always like every half an hour something has a possibility of being posted. I remember every time we had the trailers or announcements or all that sort of thing. Yeah, they always announce the Doctor. Why would they announce the Companion before the Doctor? That's the thing. It's a very interesting way of doing it. I could have kind of liked to have seen something specially shot and hopefully there is something like that. But if not, it's fine. It's still a good announcement. It's still exciting to be thinking, holy shit, I now know who the next Doctor is. Um... Because you're all watching and I rarely get a chance to sort of market my own stuff. Um, I do live stream quite a lot on Twitch, so that's in the chat. Go and give that a follow if you can. I'd really appreciate it because uh, we're trying to grow a bit of an audience on there as well. And that's fun, so please do. Um, but your choice at the end of the day, isn't it? What else have we got? Um, everyone's just like arriving going, what? What's happening? Shooty Gatwa, we believe, is the 14th Doctor based off of this Instagram post, which has been shared around by not just Russell D. Davis and the actor himself, but various um, sources, including the actual production company behind the new era of Doctor Who. I think this is the announcement of the next Doctor. A very subtle, very out of nowhere, completely out of the blue announcement of the next Doctor. Um, And the thing is, with the whole female Doctor thing, as much as I, I, I would have actually liked 14 to be uh, female, um, thank you for the follow on Twitch. All the notifications that come up on the side are new Twitch follows, so thank you to anyone who pops up there. Um, yeah, the thing, I, I, I would have wanted it to be a woman, I think, but I trust because it's Russell that it's not a back step. It's that Shitty's the, like, the actual, the best person for this job, for his version of the character. I think that's the one... I think I, I think because Russell's had experience with Doctor Who before, and you know David Tennant and Chris Eccleston, and like, it's something I I I I trust that it's a good decision, and it's an inspired choice, and it's not a one that people had thought of, and that's always the one that you kind of want, isn't it? When you people don't really, um, Andy Pryor casting just posted on Twitter to Insta, okay, Andy Pryor. Casting. Thank you for the follows, by the way. Much appreciated. Um, I'm going to put the sound on so you can hear it. Um, Andy Pryor casting. I've just posted. Oh, shit. And Andy Pryor casting off for the new era, right? Sure. Oh, hey. It's interesting, isn't it? It's interesting. It's all sort of coming around. Georgia Tennant shared it. Interesting. I think. I think it's basically locked in at this point. 
does all the house casting for Who since 2005, and they've posted it on their Instagram. They never do. They never do. Um, Thank you for all the Twitch followers, by the way. Really, really appreciate it. We go live on there. We try and go live on there every Tuesday. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it this week, but we do a lot of playthroughs and a lot of fun stuff on there. So any support on that is greatly appreciated, obviously. So thanks. Um, love that. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to be interested. I, I'm I'm excited, though. You know, as always with the Doctor casting, it's always like, oh, my God, is it going to be good? Is it gonna be... I, think, I think this is a, a very interesting move. I think the guy's a, a talented actor, and I'm kind of excited to see what they do. That oh, Black Archive. Hi, hi, big fan. <laughs> um, I've just come back from having a bath to see this. Yeah, what a thing to see. Um, Phil Collinson has commented on Andy Pryor's post. Oh, he has. I didn't notice that. And he's one of the producers, isn't he? Oh my god. Everything we see. Everything we see. It's, um, yes. So if you've seen Sex Education, you'll know him as the actor who played Eric. Um, he's a Rwandan Scottish actor, which is interesting. Um, but yeah. I'm going to turn Aku Aku down so it doesn't make too much more noise. I trust Russell with this, though. When these sort of things happen, it's like very big news, very sort of scary things that might not be exactly the person you want it. It might not be the gender you want it. You know, it, it, it's, it's the sort of thing, it, it, if, if people were excited to see 14 be a woman as well, I can totally understand, like, a level of disappointment. And that's totally fair enough. Um, But, yeah, I think... I think it's a good choice. Looking purely at like acting ability, um, I think it's, yeah. Good can you imagine? <laughs> Does this mean Eric's leaving sex ed? Probably not. I I don't know if he um. I don't know if he'll be leaving. I think it just it means that we'll probably be waiting longer for sex ed, um, season four because they're literally about to start shooting Doctor Who now, aren't they? Unless, again, unless, and here's the thing, unless the 14th Doctor doesn't really come into play until after the 60th. Again, the 60th might be a, like a completely random story that leads into the new Doctor. Um, like a sort of in-between one. You know, there's always all those rumours about David Tennant and stuff, like what if there is an old Doctor coming back and the story's focused on them, and then we don't actually, see, you know, so the filming for season, series 14, where the 14th Doctor is the, the main lead, we know that, um, maybe that doesn't start for a while yet. I don't give a shit about Nolzum's army buffet. It's, you, do whatever you want. Like, everyone's got an opinion on it. Some people like it, some people don't. It's always the case with a new Doctor casting. I'm always open to, like, a new, like, uh, like idea, direction, everything. It's like, no matter who it is, unless it's, like, I don't know, James Corden. <laughs> I'm open to it, you know? Um... And I'm, and I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy because it's someone I know and I can kind of comment on. Not know personally. It's someone that I know as I've seen them in 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 stuff. I've seen them in sex ed, and he's brilliant in sex education. Um, so, yeah, no, I I, I love that. Um, and yeah. That's great. I, I, if it is that, I'm just sort of waiting around until half past twelve now, so something can actually happen or get announced. If anything does, and then if it doesn't, then we can just kind of wrap this up. Um,
Yeah, no, people were... Jo- this is the thing, though, it's like, you get people... And this is one thing I will say I can't stand. This is me going on a bit of a rant now. But the Facebook account, Doctor Who page official or whatever it's called, they post so much shite. And the Doctor Who community gets themselves such in, a, in like a twist. It's like, oh my god, could this person be... And it's like, all of these rumours, all of these things. What about all that thing about David Tennant coming back to play the Doctor? All that stuff about James Corden. All that sort of stuff. All just... All over the place. It's... Um, you know, it is what it is. I, I just don't think, like... I, I, it just goes to show... You just don't believe any old shit you hear online. You gotta wait until you see something official or something that looks like it could be credible. When it's just some random account going, because they've been counting down, they're counting down to the next doctor announcement, but they've got like seven days yesterday because they think it's gonna happen on the 14th, but they're doing it as like facts. They're not the only one. There's a lot of people out there that do it. It's just annoying because it's just like, why get people's hopes up? Um, But yeah, I might have to watch the BAFTAs later then just to see what happens. I'm excited. It's so cool, I've just been able to text my dad and just say, Shooty Gap, where's the next Doctor? I think. <laughs> um, that's so exciting, though. Um, oh. TV Zona just tweeted to keep an eye on the BAFTA awards tonight. Interesting. Um, let me get some racist people, what do you think? Well, if anyone has a problem based simply on race and nothing else, like acting ability or the actual individual themselves, fuck off, basically, you know. <laughs> you know, I don't care what those people think, fuck them. <clears throat> um, yeah, interesting, interesting. Not everything at the BAFTAs is going to be Doctor Who related, let's not, um, let's not get tied down in that, but it's... It might something might happen. I presume something's gonna happen, but like not everyone who goes to the BAFTAs is gonna be like announced as like a Doctor Who character um, for the next series. <laughs> um, again, thank you all so much for the follows on Twitch. Appreciate that. I'm trying to build an audience on there, and it's a it's a difficult one. And obviously, with it live being live streamed, I do appreciate anyone who's able to to hop on there and check it out. Um, we're getting closer and closer to 500 followers. I'm gonna drop it in the chat again, just while we're just chatting on, because there's no new news at the minute. But if you can and you've got a Twitch account and you want to follow, I'd really appreciate it. Um, but yeah. Yeah, like no matter who ever gets cast as the Doctor, there's always people who are going to come on and just be like... Like an arsehole. You know, basically. There's always people who are going to just... Like, there's people who are going to go, oh, I don't know about... like that actor's experience, like, I haven't really liked what I've seen him in. That's fine. It's fine to not be, t- like, a, a bit cautious. Um, but let's, like, Doctor, wait, what? Doctor Who have just changed their thing. Oh, they went, oh, they went back to normal. Oh, oh, dear, they've changed it. Oh, God, it's getting exciting now. Um, it's the, it's the thing, um, that I'm saying it's like if it's just based on like oh god I'm not sure I haven't really seen this actor in much and what I have seen him in I wasn't keen like if you've watched Sex Ed and nothing else that he's been in and you watch Sex Ed and you weren't too keen on his performance I can totally understand that the Doctor's a very specific kind of role with a lot of range required depending on how the character is specifically written um but yeah Jane Tranter likes Shooty's post who's Jane Tranter you'll have to remind me Television producer. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Okay, she's one of the producers then. Um, they changed it. But... Oh, yeah, it's changed back. Yeah, I thought you meant you changed it back to the Sea Devils one. I was going to be like, oh my god. Um, so, yeah, it's fair enough to have a like a thing where you go, oh, I'm not sure about that actor's performance or anything like that. Um, but then at the same time, um, you know, then you turn it around and go, well, oh, I actually don't like this this choice because of gender or race or something otherwise it's like then it's like come on like it, it, it and the whole thing with the female doctor i understand because it was such a big thing and it kind of feels a bit like a back step with them not doubling down on it and it is a bit of a shame but yeah
<laughs> is he is is it trending yet? We need to get it trending. I mean, that's gonna be exciting. When we see the guy's name trending, that's gonna be mad. <laughs> I'm just super excited about what's I mean, we've got 10 minutes until half past. Hopefully something happens. And then if there is something, then we'll be able to react to it, talk about it. Um, why does it feel like an online lecture? Because it is, because it is. I'm lecturing you all on what to think about the new doctor. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm so busy. Anyway, I'm, I, I've got so much to be doing today, but I'm just allowing myself this little hour of enjoyment for something that happens once every five or six years, really. Um, thank you so much as well for the viewers. I mean, 284 people watching this live is absolutely insane. I barely get numbers like that anymore, so I really do appreciate it. If you're not already subscribed, obviously, please do. Um, I do make a lot of content that I try and get out there, so if any of you are watching this and go, yeah, he seems all right, I might check more of his shit out, you know. Um, I have a Twitch, which I've linked in the chat, which we live stream on regularly, uh, once a week-ish. Um, I also have a fair, fair, uh, I can't even speak. I also have a film podcast called Spill Your Beans, which is on Spotify, so you can go and check that out as well. Um, just trying to promote it all, trying to promote it all. Do we know who it is? Yes. Um, it's Shooty Gatwa, we think. I think it's coming. The fact that they've changed their branding back to um, back to this. I think it's. I think we're gonna get something imminently. You know, I really do think we're gonna get something imminently. I'm. I'm excited. I'm really excited, because I'm. I'm. I'm hoping it's gonna be something where it's like it's gonna be kind of ground shattering a little bit. You know, it's a great lecture. <laughs> George Tennant did share it on Instagram. Yes, um, I've not seen this actor. Is he any good? Um, uh, he's great from Sex Education. That's the only thing I've seen him in, but um, he's brilliant in that. Very funny, um, but also very uh, great. He's got like the range for it, you know. Um, there's like a lot of emotional stuff in Sex Ed, and there's a lot of like a coming of age kind of thing, and there's a lot of like range in that, as well as, um, as well as I guess like, I don't know what I'm saying now. Hang on. There's a lot of there's a lot of range in there in terms of emotional performance, but also comedic performance as well. Um, yeah, interesting though. Why do we think it's him? So he's posted this on Instagram, which has been commented on by Russell Davis saying the future is here. It's also been shared by the new production company Bad Wolf, as well as Russell, as well as a bunch of other people. Doctor Who have changed their branding back to this. And it's still less than an hour since that's been put on Instagram. So we're going to wait until half twelve to see if we get anything. Yeah, I, I thought he was younger as well, but he's 29. So, I think a good age. How old was, like, Matt Smith when he got the role? Was he, like, 25? So, he's de so Shooty's definitely one of the, um... 82. 92. So, he's about... So, he's 10 years younger than, um... Matt Smith. Almost exactly. <laughs> I remember Matt Smith was, like, the youngest, wasn't he? So... He's 29, but he looks he, he looks younger. But depending on depending on just like thing, I mean, obviously in sex education, <clears throat> he's playing a teenager, so that's like, <clears throat> yeah. That my my thinking is they've probably cast him a while back, and they may. The thing is, if if Jody regenerates from the TARDIS, they've already dismantled the TARDIS set months back, so he must have filmed that last scene, unless she doesn't regenerate in the TARDIS. Um, if it's posted at 2 or later when you go back live, I probably won't because I've got so much to be doing today. I've got a massive uni deadline tomorrow where I'm finishing actually editing a short film, so I need to get on with that. Um, but I'll be active on Twitter and anything like that, so if there's anything that's posted or announced, um, I'll be on it. So if you're not already following my Twitter, um, at GBShared, it's probably the best place to go because that's where I'm going to post most of the stuff. I'll put it in the chat so it's easier for you. If you're not already following me, I do appreciate it. We're almost at, um, 6,000 followers, which is great. But yeah, um... Six minutes, and then if it's not, if nothing else is announced, we'll just kind of wrap it up here, and then, yeah. Um, I've not watched since like four episodes into thirteen. There's some good stuff in there. I quite like. You know, the thing is, I, I'm not too keen on where Flux went in the end, and I'm not too keen on the specials. I've made that quite clear, but like, 
I actually really like series 11 and 12. I think it's pretty good, you know. Um, this will this be his breakout role for a serious actor. I think that's, that's it, isn't it? It's This will be, like, the big thing. And he's, like, a decent actor. Like, Sex Education is a massive Netflix show. But then, like, if you look at his other stuff, he hasn't done much else. They still, but I think this is the one where it's like, that's the kind of actor you want. You want someone who's going to sign on for the role and do it for a few years, at the very least. And then, like, you want to know, you know, I don't know. You, you want, I don't know. I just, I just think it's, like, it's exciting. Is Jodie going to beat the BAFTAs tonight as well? Oh, my God, could you imagine? They meet each other. Does she know? I wonder if she knows now who, who, like, the next Doctor is. I mean, we don't really know, do we? We kind of do. Yeah. Interesting, though. Interesting. Appreciate all the new followers on Twitter as well. I don't think they'd announce the companion before the Doctor. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, when's that ever happened? It's like the big announcement, the big first announcement is always, and it's so mysterious that it would be like a bit of a tease to do that and then go, oh, he's cast as a side character. <laughs> he's the right age. He's, I think, the right kind of actor. And I think, like, oh, man, I'm excited. Shakespeare acting is a good sign. Yes, very true actually. Did a Midsummer Night's Dream, so he's he's, he's you know he, you know I wouldn't knock it. And obviously, Barbie's a very big up and coming film as well, so that's quite exciting. Um, Greta Gerwig. Oh, I said it like that, but yeah, twenty six past. See, if, I hope something's announced in four minutes. It'd be lovely to get it on live stream, but if not, it doesn't really matter. Um, who do we think it is? Shooty Gatwa. Um, of sex education fame for playing Eric. I just love all those memes because like the, the thing went round about like washing your hands like you dirty pig um, and that was all around in Covid I remember that like I remember that people like, like print out pictures of this guy and put him in like their school toilets or something. I just think it's so funny and I think it's so like it's gonna be great to look back on because the, the memes you can get out of it are great. I mean especially with sex education. Doctor Who community love making their memes. The sex education is an absolute minefield of things, if that's the case. <laughs> yeah. Um, he's nominated. He's actually nominated for a BAFTA, is he? Wow, 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 wow. Is 14 actually announced versus clickbait? Well, it's not clickbait, because I genuinely do believe that this is the announcement, followed up by something official. Everything's pointing in that direction, but nothing's officially been said yet. But I'd give it a few minutes and we'll see. Um, but an actor has put this on his thing. Russell's followed it up, and it's been shared by the production company. It's been shared by basically everyone who's involved with the new era of Doctor Who. So, in a few minutes, I'm hoping, I'm hoping I'm not wrong, um, at half past, about an hour after this post was made, I'm hoping we'll get something a bit more official that I can go, ha, yeah, we got it. It doesn't feel like we're clickbaiting people. Um... It is funny, but it, this always happens when it's someone that no one predicts. I mean, not always. People predicted Jodie Whittaker. I remember Jodie Whittaker was a bit of a fan casting, but not like a major one. Um, but it's never the one that everyone expects it to be. You know, it was as much as I obviously was like so, so behind Tania Miller and Lydia West. There was not actually a chance it was going to be them, really, was it? Because like, I mean, I hope I'm not... What the fuck was that? I hope I'm not wrong. But I'm like... Because it would be so funny now if this actually was the companion announcement. It won't be. But I think the BAFTAs are tonight. It's all coming together. I think it's the perfect time to get like a shit ton of traction on this. Like a, like a, the right, right time. Um, but one minute to go. Look, I'm going to just keep refreshing and hope we get something. It's, you know what's really interesting as well? 400 people watching. Bloody hell, thank you for watching, by the way. Bloody hell, 400 people. Um, there was actually a, an actress from Sex Education who was actually thrown in to potentially be the next Doctor. 
And it's so funny that it's actually a member of the same cast, but just not them. Okay, 10 seconds. Let's hope I'm fingers crossed on this one, please. I really want some content for the live stream. It'd be nice to catch it on camera because I've got so much to do today. I need to wrap this up. Um, are we getting anything? It's currently half past. Oh, we have. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. It's official, then. <laughs> right, let's read it. Let's see what it says. Oh, my God. Today, the BBC has announced that uh, Shooty Gatwa is the new Doctor set to take charge of the TARDIS. Star of stage and screen, Shooty is best known for his critically acclaimed performance in Sex Education, uh, the iconic Eric Effiong, for which he was awarded Best Actor at the Scottish BAFTAs in 2020, as well as numerous nominations, including Best Male Performance at the Comedy Programme at this year's BAFTAs. Speaking of his new role, Shooty said, they aren't, they aren't quite the words to describe how I'm feeling. A mix of deeply honoured, beyond excited, and of course a little bit scared. This role and show means so much to, me, uh, to many around the world, including myself. And each one of my in incredibly talented predecessors has handled that unique responsibility and privilege with the utmost care. I will endeavour my utmost to do the same. Russell D. Davis is almost as iconic as the Doctor himself, and being able to work with him is a dream come true. His writing is dynamic, exciting, incredibly intelligent, and fizzing with danger, an actor's metaphorical playground. Um, the entire team have been so welcoming and truly give their hearts to the show. And so much is daunting, uh, so much as it's daunting, um, I'm aware I'm joining a really supportive family. Unlike the Doctor, I may only have one heart, but I'm giving it all to this show. That's a great statement. Uh, Russell said, the future is here, and it's shooty. Um, sometimes talent walks through the door, and it's so bright and bold and brilliant, I just stand back in awe and thank my lucky stars. Shooty dazzled us, seized hold of the Doctor, and owned those TARDIS keys in seconds. It's an honour to work with him and a hoot. I can't wait to get started. I'm sure you're dying to know more, but we're rationing ourselves for now with the wonderful Geordie's epic finale yet to come. But I promise you, 2023 will be spectacular. Um, Charlotte Moore, Chief Content Officer, said, Shooty has an incredible dynamism. He's a striking and fearless young actor whose talent and energy will set the world alight and take Doctor Who on extraordinary adventures under Russell T. Davis's new era. Further details will be announced in due course. So what this is saying... Oh my god, look at all this. Look at all the whole chat. Um, what a great moment. This is a, a fantastic moment. I'm so glad I got this on camera as well because I never got to record my reaction to the 13th Doctor or any other Doctor announcement. Um... I love it. You know, I'm always excited with the new Doctor announcement because they're always so passionate, but that's a great statement about putting his like heart into the show and stuff. Oh my god. It was true. This whole Instagram thing that we've been like peddling on for the last hour is true. I don't I'm not really a massive fan of the announcement. Like I kind of again I love the Geordie Whitaker thing when they announced it with like an actual specially shot thing. But I'll take it. It'll probably get announced again at the um at the BAFTAs tonight. <laughs> um, to be fair this is very interesting the way they've done this and I'm all here for it all, all here for it I'm I'm excited to I'm excited to see what they do with it. I think, like, I'm, I just in terms of like, costume and all that sort of thing, I'm I'm so, so excited. If you haven't already seen Sex Ed, um, watch it. It's a brilliant show. And his performance in it's brilliant. And you'll, you'll love it anyway. It's a great TV show, but, like, his performance especially is, is outstanding in it. Um, oh, God, I don't know what to say. This is just, like... Yeah, I wasn't a massive fan of Capaldi's announcement. Him walking out on stage and doing that whole... That whole year with those, like, behind-the-scenes shows where they did all that stage stuff. Oh, it's the worst. Oh my god! <laughs> I can't actually believe it. Has he posted anything else? No, he hasn't. <laughs> e god! That's so exciting! I can't believe it. Oh, I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. Ah, oh, I'm so here for it. I'm actually so here for it. I'm not like, again, it's like, it's it's always a thing where it's like, it's not a one that I was expecting, it's not one of my, like, fan castings, but I'm so on it, I'm so, like, happy about, I just, I am excited, I get excited about new Doctors, you know, 
This is real. This is very real. This is the official Doctor Who account. It's been posted. People are like, is this, is this definitely real? Are we, are we getting this? Yeah, this is real. The, the 14th Doctor has been announced. So all those rumours about that, we're going to get some sort of cover, aren't we? Next Doctor Who magazine is going to have a photo of him on the front, 100%, isn't it? Oh my god, the Doctor, the 14th Doctor has been announced today, Sunday the 8th of May 2022. Of course the website's down, that's brilliant though. Oh my god. Well, I'm, I'm so excited to see where this is going to go, I feel like there's going to be... There's got to be so much there to, to unpack, and like I, I can't wait to see what they do with the costume, the TARDIS, etc. Keep an eye on the BAFTAs tonight, because if he's there and Russell's there, y you know with that sort of audience something is going to be announced. Or, you know, maybe you'll take... The thing is, if, he, if there's like a red carpet and interview stuff, he's going to get pulled aside for everything. Talking about the new Doctor role and stuff. Um, I am... I am excited. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's the confirmation of how it's pronounced. Thank God I got that right. Um, oh, hey. What an exciting... Um, what an exciting... What Just what an exciting... It's always so exciting when you get an announcement like this. I know I keep saying it over and over again, but my God. Have they changed his Wikipedia already? They're on it, man. They are on it. Oh, there we go. Just look at He's playing the Doctor. So if we go on the Doctor's page, the character page. Oh, it's not on there yet. I really want it to, like, start on there, you know. But it's not going to, is it? Not yet. But it probably will be eventually. Um, is it N-Shooty? Either way, I'll, I'll try and learn how to pronounce it properly <laughs> by the time we do a proper video or something about it. But this is my official reaction and, and kind of breakdown of the news. Um, cool to have a doctor who's on social media as well. You don't usually get that, other than obviously Joe Martin. <clears throat> I am kind of... Um, I'm here for it. Being born a reminder, this is the first doctor to be born outside the UK. That is really interesting, isn't it? I love... Oh, I'm so, so here for it. So, so here for it. Nothing says the 14th Doctor, it just says the Doctor. That's actually really interesting, isn't it? Um, still not ginger. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know if that's anything big. I think it's like one of those things where, you know, like on the Doctor Who magazines, it's like, do do is the Doctor. Like, Jodie Whittaker is the Doctor. Um... So we'll see. But then what's what's the alternative? Maybe we'll get a surprise Doctor for this flight special or whatever. But the fact that he's saying it's the... 2023 will be spectacular implies to me that it's, it's, this is the next Doctor. We're going to see him, like, in the in the 60th. I just, I'm looking forward to the announcements. What I'm excited for now? Costume. <laughs> That's what I'm excited for now. I can't wait to see what the costume's going to be. Um, and I can't wait to see... Um, I can't wait to see the costume. I can't wait to see the TARDIS and screwdriver and stuff as well. I absolutely, like, yeah, and a young Doctor as well, a younger Doctor. Um, I can't remember how old Geordie is. She's not super old, but yeah, she's like significantly older than like that. You know, the sort of younger Doctors are always in their like mid to late twenties. Um. <clears throat> Young Doctor again. I'm actually happy with that. You know, weirdly, the more I'm, like, sitting here, I'm like, I can picture this. I actually can picture this. This is really exciting. Um, okay, so I need to distill on this, and I've got so much to do today, so we're probably going to wrap it up. Feel free to throw some more questions in. Uh, we're going to answer all that sort of stuff. But it's been announced. There's nothing really else to talk about, nothing really else to say. Again, I'll answer a few questions and all that sort of thing. Um, but then, yeah... Um, I, yeah, I, I think a purple suit would be really nice. I think because the thing is, he was so well dressed in sex education. There's some like fantastic like clothing items and that. I think it's like you, you, you can pull off a good like out there look. So I'm here for it. Um, I'm sort of here like looking at him and I'm like, this is the Doctor in it. Like I can see him. He, he looks young as well for his age, but I'm I'm here for it. 
I'm so excited. Um, yeah, this is absolutely mad. We'll definitely have some more content about this later on this week. Um, when I get to the end, I've got a few deadlines with uni this week. Once I've got through them, I'm definitely going to make more videos on this, kind of breaking down how I feel about it. I'll probably do some photo edits because, like, I can't... That's, that's the next thing now is I'm like, okay, let's get the thumbnail photo edits out of the way. Um, but, yeah, watch Sex Education if you haven't already. It's a great show, and he's great in it. Obviously, he's been nominated multiple times. Um... It's exciting. It's, it's exciting. Um, again, like, there's just so much, just so much here to talk about, and I'm just like sat here now, going like, "That's the Fourteenth Doctor." We've got, we, we've, it's been announced, and we're just like, "Oh." <laughs> um, but I'm getting a little, even just like the kind of style that he is. He's he's younger, definitely, but I think it works. Um, and I'm thinking like. I don't know, like kind of Matt Smith vibes, I guess. I'm more kind of, I don't know. Um, I'd quite like it. I'd quite like it. I just, I'm, I'm so interested. I'm like fascinated now to see what he's going to do with the character and what he's going to do with the performance and stuff. I love how they're using the same emojis. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. We know who the new Doctor is now. <laughs> oh, I love it. I'm so like excited and happy and like yeah. It's the third doctor that um Russell's cast. We've had two out of three that are spectacular and absolute massive fan favourites. I think we're gonna get a third. Um Okay, yeah, um Oh my god. Let's put the sex dead. Like, his, his vibe and style in sex education is just, like, so cool. <laughs> so, like, colourful and vibrant and kind of out there, and I love it. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm super happy with this casting. Like, the more I think about it, at first I was like, oh, that's, that's surprising, that's different. Then I'm like, oh my god, wow, yeah. Um, so is he technically the joint second youngest actor to play the Doctor? So if if because Peter Davison was the youngest before Matt Smith, who came in at twenty six, um, Shooty is twenty nine, same age as Peter Davison, so kind of joint second. So if Matt Smith had, um, if Matt Smith wasn't the Doctor, Shooty would be the youngest, or probably the youngest or joint youngest actor to play the Doctor, which is so like cool. I'm I'm. I'm excited, you know. I, I can't I can't knock it. Whenever there's a new Doctor like and a casting announcement, it's always exciting. It's always interesting because at this stage, I don't think you can have much of a problem with it. I think it's just you have to wait and see. What are they going to do with the costume? What are they going to do with the character? What are they going to do? But it means that this year we're going to see Jodie Whittaker regenerate into Shuti Gawa, which is insane. Oh, I just I love like regenerations and this sort of stage in the Doctor Who era. It's always so exciting. And knowing Russell's coming back is obviously like massive news last year or earlier this year, um, whenever it was announced. Massive, massive news. Really exciting, wonderful news that Russell's coming back. But then to have a good actor here as well is just like oh, oh, it's music to my ears. <laughs> and you know maybe like maybe. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't work, we don't know at this stage, but it's exciting. And now we can think, at least we know who it is. We have a face for the 14th Doctor now, and that's going to be the Doctor for the next few years, until probably at least 2024, 2025. Um, everyone was thinking maybe if they did 14, they'd cast like a, a big name, have them for the specials, and then have them regenerate quite quickly, so like have a shorter little mini era. Um, this isn't going to happen with this. I don't think. I get the vibe with this and just the way he's talking and everything. That this is a an actor who's going to stay in the role for more than a couple of series. Um, which is exciting. I'm just really, really excited now. Um, title clickbait. Oh, we still don't know. No, it's literally on screen. <laughs> Look at the screen I'm on. This has been announced. It's official. Check Doctor Who's social media. It's there. It's there. It's all there. 
Um, um, it's a really low key announcement. I don't mind it though. I think if they haven't had chance to shoot anything yet, then yeah. Um, but the sex education cast are like wild in. <laughs> um, oh, he's gonna have a hell of a night tonight in the Baftas. Like people are gonna be asking him so many questions, like the press and you know outside the press as well. Um, oh, it's just exciting, isn't it? It's just so exciting. I am. Ah, oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm happy because it's someone I I, I can I have seen act and like the performance of. It's an inspired choice. It's not one that I've ever considered or thought of, but that's always the best kind of Doctor Who casting for me. I think that's when it's something like, oh, them. I, I no, I didn't think they'd do that. That's a, that's an interesting decision. It's exactly what I had with kind of Jodie Whittaker. It was like, oh my God, wow. Okay, this is cool. Um, <laughs> do I keep scrolling past your tweet? <laughs> There we go. <laughs> um, possibly something a bit more. Now, I don't know if TVs will know anything, but tonight, if they have some sort of reveal trailer or something, anything along those lines, that would be super interesting. But yeah, um, I think I'm going to wrap this stream up because it's just kind of... There's nothing really else to say now, but thank you all so much for watching. Um, before I do go, there's a lot of you guys watching, and I want to let you know where this channel's sort of going, uh, generally. I'm definitely going to be doing more Doctor Who stuff more regularly when I can, but I'm only going to talk about the stuff that's like I'm really interested in. So a new Doctor announcement, sick. Um, any sort of costume, casting announcements, any, anything with a new series I'm excited for, and obviously the Centenary as well, anything big that gets announced there we'll probably talk about, but... Yeah, this is a, a whole new era, a whole new bit of exciting stuff. Um, any stuff I don't cover on here, I'll cover on my Twitter, at uh, GB Sheard. So I'll just get the link for that so I can post that in the chat as well. Um, for those who are on Twitter, I just want sort of... If you want my opinion when it happens, then that's, you know, greatly appreciated. Um, well, yeah, you can go and follow me on there. And, yeah, no, um, I'll probably do a proper video about this at some point when I've got a bit more free time. But I am super, super excited. Um, and yeah, this is just, uh, yeah, this is such a, this is so exciting. Um, and again, in terms of live streams and other stuff that I do, I'd really appreciate it if you follow my Twitch, which I'm also going to put in chat and also, um, uh, we do a podcast as well, but I don't know if that's linked in the description or not. Um, um, yeah, But please do follow me on there if you can, if you're able to. I really appreciate it. So the kind of content that we're doing more of at the minute. Um, and yeah, okay, cool. Um, I've got stuff to do. I'm going to crack on. But thank you all so much for tuning in. There'll definitely be more content to come. So keep your eyes peeled, subscribe, notifications on, all that sort of thing. And I'll see you all soon. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.